Did you know that people buy your energy? Now, what do I mean by that? Whether you are looking for a job or you're, you know, you got services on offer that you want people to buy and invest in. The, the thing is that people buy your energy first. People or buyers are 100% emotional. And so whether you ha emit good vibes, as we say, or bad ones, if you have a can-do attitude and yes, you know, happily too, and you know, you're, you got a service mindset, that will help. On the opposite side though, if you are one of those people that is really always finding, you know, reasons to say no, or you're skeptical or critical and all of this sort of stuff, that shows a negative mindset. And guess what? A negative mindset, people don't appreciate. People don't want to be around a leader that is negative. People don't want to buy from uh, an expert or a service provider that is not really, you know, make the other people feel great because your energy influences other people's energy too. So it's really vital that you ensure your energy is as good as it's going to be. Now, do I mean that by that, that it needs to be elated? Of course not. You know, you need to be like, ah, all excited and all that sort of jazz. That's not required. What it means is that you eliminate negativity. You eliminate you know, the, the, the stuff from the past. You eliminate, you know, a bad conversation you might have had with your spouse or things that are on your mind, worries and all that sort of stuff. You make sure that you got a resilient mind, a resilient mind that can cope with the difficulties that we all face, you know, sooner or later all along the way. It's not that we can somehow make ourselves oblivious to it. So we deal with it. And some people really learn how to deal with it really well. They've built their uh, resilience, they've built their emotional intelligence, they uh, got obviously self-awareness, they, um, yeah, they just do what it takes to make sure their energy is in perfect nick. Now, guess what? If you are the type of person that uh, is selling cars and I'm on the, on the way looking for one, and your energy is just so charismatic, so energizing, oh, it makes me feel really good as a buyer, guess what? Your chances of selling to me are so much bigger. Right? So think about it again, like how can you really take everyday deliberate steps to build your energy in a positive way, to eliminate the negativity, not being hung up to things, not holding grudges, all this sort of stuff, it just gets in the way. Now, once you got yourself really up to that sort of standard where nothing almost can throw you, you're always like that sort of person that bounces back in the face of adversity. And you can always reinterpret uh, so-called difficult events in a positive way because you learn from them and you grow with them. Your energy is going to be really energizing. It's going to be charismatic. It's going to be enticing. It's going to be attractive. So people will want to do business with you. They will, will, uh, will, will, they will want to hire you, you know, in terms of if you're in, uh, looking for a job. If you've got products or services on offer, they won't want to buy from you, you know, because that type of energy is vital. It is actually different in this world. Not most, not many people have it. A lot of people always find reasons to blame and complain and have excuses and this and that. That is not really the way to be. That is average. That is mediocrity. And it's not for you. If you really want to, you know, go on and uh, create a massive impact, have a great life, build a great lifestyle, you know, do the things you want to do and be the person you want to be, your energy is vital. Look after it carefully, build it, grow it, nurture it, and you'll see what happens. My name is Ram. Thanks for joining.